Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through steps of how to renew your PR card for the whole family using one IRCC portal account. The tricky part is you cannot submit all family members' applications at the same time. You will need to submit one by one and this submissions after other submission. First, you will need to create a PR card renewal portal. And please watch my previous video regarding the PR card renewer. Um, I put that video link in the description below. So please check it out. And this video is a continue of the previous video. So I'm not going to start the video from the beginning. Uh, but get the final steps from the first one and show you how to create another application using the same account. Okay. So guys, after viewing inside the consent, then you hit the submit your application and submit application. And then here you go, guys. You can see all in here as the submitted. Okay. And here is the important part. You see here, create new application. You click on that and then program, you select PR renewer. And then situation like in Canada. Uh, and then you click on that box and then apply for PR card. Okay. Um, when you see the error comes up like this, then no need to worry. Um, you will um, even see the photo of the previous persons, but trust me, it is what it is. You can go back to the applications on the top left hand and then view the application. The new application will be viewed as uh, initiated and then you can click on view. And then now you can edit um, and start a new application. All right. Okay, guys. So here is the new application. And then all you need to do is filling out the form and then uploading the document checklist and the photos with the back and uh, front and back and then the required document, supporting document, the fee. So everything here, you will need to do exactly the same thing, the same step that you did with the previous application like uh, the applicant situation, the personal details, um, the immigration history, the personal history with the work, and then the residency obligations, all right? And of course, the fees and the photos, uh, you will need to upload it as well, all right? So guys, here is the document type. Uh, you will need to upload everything in here, the primary ID, the proof of residencies, and if you apply for a child, you will need to um, upload the birth certificate as well. Okay, so when everything is the uploaded, then you click on the start so that you can declare and sign with the consent and declaration. So in this page, you will select boxes appropriately. Uh, if this form pertain a child under 14, I certify that I'm the child's parent or legal guardian, okay? So if you have a child, you apply on uh, their behalf and then you click on the box. If not, just uh, leave it. Click on this, 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 and this, okay? And here you go. If you are 14 of age or more, but less than 18 years of age, then your uh, the applications uh, must be signed by you and one of the parents or legal guardians. Okay. Uh, if you are under 14, then only parents or legal guardian need to sign. Okay. So um, just sign appropriately. Okay. So after you sign the consent and declarations, you hit the submit your application. Okay, guys. So another application was submitted. Okay. So if you want to create another one, then you do the same thing, like create a new application and then in the program, and you select appropriately in the situation like in Canada, and then you select on the box and apply for PR card. All right. So guys, here the errors comes up again. Okay, so no need to worry about that one. Just go back to the applications and then you can see the initiated and then you click on the view and then you start your application all right okay here is the new one guys and then all you need to do is doing the same thing like the previous one that i explained before and then you submit all right 
So with one account, you can apply to many applications for you and family members like you, your husband, wife, and children. And for children under 18 years old, you will need to upload the birth certificates with your name on that so that you can apply on their behalf. And if children are in between uh, 14 and 18, they will need to sign along with one of the parents or legal guardians. And if children are under 14, then only one parent or legal guardian signature is good enough. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a good day. Bye-bye.